Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy. And you see this uh, record here that I've already painted on. I'm going to go ahead and do a swipe on it. I am very behind this week and I wanted to paint, but I didn't really want to spend a ton of time prepping the back of a canvas or a board. So I was like, you know, I have a bunch of records. I'm going to paint on this one. So this is winter green. This is a prison pour color. So I'm showing you my colors. Um, this is thalo green. That first color was indigo blue black from Atelier. Um, winter green, of course, is color art. Thalo green is Atelier Free Flow. This is magenta from Atelier Free Flow. This is dioxazine purple. Looks very blue. This is peacock, which is a prism pour color. And this is Royal Galaxy, which is also a prism pour color. And one of the reasons I wanted to play around with this record is I am trying the Atelier uh, interactive cell activator for the first time in a while. The first time I tried it, I don't think the paint was mixed around well in the tube and it was very chalky, which is not normal for Atelier. Atelier interactive paint, which I love as a cell activator for swipes. So I decided to give it a go again. So I had just mixed it up and uh, obviously going to use the bloom recipe. Uh, my house paint is Glidden Premium in eggshell. And I always have a mixing tutorial listed in my description box of what, um, what I use for the bloom recipe, if that helps you. Of course, it fluctuates a little bit, but that's kind of been what I've used pretty often over the last year or so. So if you're kind of getting started and you're trying to figure out what you can use that will work, um, it can be pretty helpful. So anyway, I'm going to do kind of a swirly, not a swirly swipe because that sounds like a circular swipe, but um, well, you'll see. And I'm going to swipe with my Color Art Swiping Tool. So this is my indigo blue black from Atelier. I'm just kind of putting a bunch of it down and it's obviously a little bit darker than some of the other colors. So I swirled it around underneath too. And this is Thalo Green from Atelier Free Flow. I don't know why I don't use Thalo Green more often. I love it. This is Winter Green. This is a prison pour color from Color Art. Uh, don't forget you can save 20% off of anything from the Color Art website using my code. Oh, that's Thalo Turquoise. I forgot to tell you guys about that color. Or Golden Turquoise Thalo. Anyway, you can save 20% off of anything from the Color Art website using Mandy2. Wait, Mandy1120. <laughs> I was going to give you the wrong code. And there's Royal Galaxy. Also, I do have a brand new um, promo code from Pixel Paint Designs, which is Mandy10. It was recently updated, so I will be updating it in the description box below. And I will try to retroactively go back and update all the other videos. That will save you if you want Australian Floetrol or if you want any bloom gels. I also like the global paints from there. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of running the magenta and the diox purple across the top underneath the cell activator. I know it looks kind of messy, but... So on my swiping tool, I'm going to use my titanium white from Atelier Interactive as a cell activator, which is mixed I usually start three parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint, and then I add. It really works out to be about four parts Australian Floetrol to one part paint because this is a heavy body paint. I also already had some Cobalt Turquoise Light Cell Activator mixed up from a while back, so I sprinkled a little bit on top as kind of a double cell activator. I thought, why not, you know? Uh, and I find when you do this, it, it's very subtle. The white is still what shows the most, but 
it does add a little depth. So I'm trying very hard to not be too heavy handed here. It's very hard for me. And now we'll pop a couple bubbles as our cells develop. I thought this turned out really cute, actually. Really pretty colors, great color combination. You can see those um, cells start to pop through the thicker white. Okay, so now as the cell activator starts to kind of sell up a little bit in those spaces with a lot of white I'm just popping some bubbles feels like I spend a lot of time popping bubbles pop 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 so right now everything kind of looks purpley white but you'll see as we open this up uh, it ends up really turning out nicely I think I definitely used a little bit too much paint sorry about my head being right in the way I'm um, I have a little toothpick in my hand and from what for whatever reason it feels like you have to pop the bubbles at a little bit of an angle for them to pop like a little bit of a side angle i really love the way those purples the diox purple and the royal galaxy look with the peacock and the thalo green i think um, another fun swipe combination would be those colors and blue velvet um, and maybe water dragon prison pour colors. So, you know, I have um, a ton of records to play around with. And sometimes when I don't have canvases prepped and I don't have stuff taped up in the back, you're probably going to see some records. My dad just gave me a whole bunch more. So. Um, and the other thing that's kind of fun about a record is you can turn it into a clock if you want. That's always kind of cool. Or you can just resin them and put them up on an easel. You can put them up on the wall if you want with command strips. I think they're really nice on an easel and it's a fun way to, um, create a piece of art that might even be a little bit more affordable than something maybe on like a cradle wood board might be. So you know, when you're thinking about substrates, especially if you're um, first starting out, records can be kind of fun. All right, spin, spin, spin. Look at the paint fly. There it goes. Now there's one part. You see where these cells are really big? Those are gonzo. I would have been fine with them the way they were. Whoa, blurry. But now when there's just so much um, cell activator toward the very end um, and not a lot of cells, that I don't so much like. So I end up spinning to get rid of that part. Sorry if you can hear my dogs making noise. But I still really like the colors. You can hardly tell at all that I use that cobalt turquoise light cell activator with the white you can see it very faintly in some places but for the most part you can just see the white but this worked great as a cell activator i really liked it so yay sorry about the ring light reflection everyone so just popping a couple bubbles sorry about my head there i always notice how much gray hair i have when my head pops up on the camera you know you can't see the top of your head normally so <laughs> it's kind of eye-opening so I'm about to bring you in for a close-up so you can see everything up close here we go look at all the pretty colors oh you know what would have been pretty with these colors is the royal sapphire prison pour color that would have been really beautiful it's always so hard to choose the winter green kind of got buried, but there's a couple little cells in there. So let me know what you think. Don't forget about the discount codes below. My Facebook group link is also below. Fluid Art Friends. I'd love to have you guys join. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate your support, everyone. Sorry it took me so long to get a video out this week. Talk to you soon.